Christians of the Middle East have a rich cultural heritage. It was they who first translated ancient Greek texts into Arabic, thereby bringing philosophy and science to Islam in its golden age, which in turn transmitted this culture of learning to Europe. There they continue to live side by side with Muslims and others, bringing a pluralism that is vital to peace in the region. Among the various religions of the Middle East, there is no other religion that has had the kind of cultural, political, and economic impact than Christianity has. If you look at all of the institutions and habits that come out of uh, Christian history, the hospital, the university, the whole notion of civil society, which is a derivative of uh, Christianity's refusal to be part of the state, always to insist that uh, the church have a role in society independent of the state. This is the, the beginning of social pluralism. Today, however, the original Christian communities of the Middle East, Orthodox, Catholic and Evangelical, band together and struggle to survive. In recent decades, the rise of militant extremists has led to marginalization, discrimination, and outbreaks of violence against Christians and others. The current wave of violence in places like Egypt and Syria and Iraq, I think, is due to the increasing dominance of various forms of Islamist extremism, violent Islamist extremism. It is now targeting Christians in a, in a vicious and violent way with ISIS in Iraq, with uh, uh, the al-Nusra group in, uh, in Syria and others. While some Christians have left to make new homes in the West, Many millions more remain behind in their ancestral homeland, refusing to depart even at the risk of their lives. These Christians now call out to their brothers and sisters in the diaspora, to their brothers and sister Christians in the West, and to all people of goodwill to speak out on their behalf. It is important for the faith community, whatever your interpretation, whatever your viewpoint, that border, to come and advocate for the least, to be the voice for the voiceless. It's very important for the uh, Middle Eastern diaspora of Christians to be unified in their positions. They're competing against many voices on foreign policy and many issues. And if their voices are not uh, ringing as, out as one, um, their voices will get lost. There's a need for a group like In Defense of Christians that can raise awareness through conferences, through documentaries, through social media, um, through churches, through all of the means by which people get their information, because they're not getting it from the New York Times and the Washington Post and the Atlantic Monthly. علشان تقدروا توصلوا للحقيقة بتاع الإسلام، علشان نقدر نوصل لحرية حقيقية، لديمقراطية حقيقية، كل اللي بيتعاش النهاردة حتى بعد الثورة لا فيش حرية، ما فيش ديمقراطية في مصر. This is happening on the watch. 
of all of us now. And so I think if, if something dramatically is not done, including prayer and mobilization and advocacy, you will see the Christian community emptied, emptied. And if that happens, that will not be good for Christianity, nor will it be good for anybody else in the world. لكن إحنا ما زلنا أنا كرجل دين بحاول أقول لا دي بلدنا وهنفضل فيها وهنعيش رغم كل الاضطهادات اللي إحنا فيها لأن إحنا بنحب البلد وده وطننا مش ممكن نسيبه وبنحاول نقول المسيحيين